Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can check to see if the WebKit works on our PS4. Um, I'm using an older PS4. It has an older firmware. I tried it and it, it doesn't work for my firmware, but you might have luck with your firmware. I've been seeing mix, uh, mixed messages saying newer firmware works, but I'm still not going to go ahead and update. It's too early now. I'm just going to leave it the way it is now. But I thought I'd just jump on and show you how you can go ahead and just check yours as well. But uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. We'll go over to our settings first. And we'll go to system. System software. Console, inf console information. And I will show you that which firmware I'm on, which is 2101-03-0000. Uh, and then one. Um, so let's go back up one here. We're going to go into system software update settings. Just going to make sure these two are ch unchecked. Um, I don't think that any updates will automatically download if uh, you're not signed into PSN, but uh, yeah, it's better off just to uncheck them for now. We're going to go ahead and set up our Wi Fi with Alice Ifs uh, DNSs, and that should block out the Sony servers. But uh, yeah, just. Uh, when you do go ahead and start your connection, just keep an eye open for the download. Uh, any messages that may pop up saying updating system software. But uh, I did this a few times and I didn't get any messages. So let's just uh, jump right into it here. I'm going to set up internet connection. And we'll go ahead and choose our network. And we'll go ahead and type in our password. We'll go ahead and hit done, and we'll hit OK on that. Okay, and once you're connected, go ahead and click on it again. Go to advanced settings, and we'll scroll down to DNS, or manual. Go ahead with our first one, which is 165.227. dot one four five hit done and we'll go on to our second one which is one nine two dot two four one dot two two one dot seven nine go ahead and hit done Okay, and you can just go over and confirm them. Uh, 165.227.83.145 and then 192.241.221.79. Go ahead and hit OK. Okay, and we'll give it a couple of seconds here just to get connected again. Okay, and once that's done, we can back out. You can go ahead and hit that uh, hit the PlayStation button just once there. You can go into your notifications just to confirm nothing did download. If it did, go ahead and delete it. But uh, yeah, it should nothing should download. So from there, we'll go over to our settings. Go ahead and use user guide, and we'll go into the user guide here, and it should load up the uh, Al Alizips web host here. So we'll go ahead and hit our L2 twice. One will bring up the uh, your settings. The second one will give us a uh, URL, URL redirect. From there we can just go ahead and just go over to the end there. And there's a number of ways you can do it. The easiest way I found was uh, just to go into YouTube. And then from YouTube it was uh, Echo Stretch. And then uh, I just clicked down my name there. And then I have the three links in these three different videos. Um, you can check them all. Go ahead and just choose this here one first. We'll scroll down to show more. Show, show more. And then we can go ahead and click on the link. We can go ahead and test. 
and hit OK. So I'm getting, there's not enough system memory here, so it's not working for me at all. We can go ahead and check out the other one. Um, just back out. I think they're both pretty much the same now. Rev 2 and Rev 3, I think they're um, pretty much the same, but we can go ahead and click on this one, which is Rev 3. And we're going to show more. Go ahead and cl click on it. Oh. And we'll go ahead and click this one. We can see that uh, the font face comes up. And then font face set comes up. So it's basically, it's not getting the commands. It's not working on that. Um, we can go ahead and hit this one as well. And I think this here one just, uh, no, this one comes up the same. There's not enough free system memory. So that's with my firmware. Your firmware may be different. Um, if you feel comfortable with jumping on just to test it out to see if, uh, see if your firmware does work, just let me know in the comments below what firmware you were on and whether it worked or not. But I'm going to leave the video at that. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.